Hi, I'm Steve Adams and welcome to Boat Show TV. I'm pleased to say, come to join us is Oscar Mead. Hi Oscar. Hi, how's it going? Very good. Now you're going to show us uh, something interesting in a minute, but first of all, I want to talk to you a little bit about your sailing history because you're a bit of a racer. Yeah, I've, I've always been a racer and I got, it, I got it from the family. Family's always been into racing. Um, kind of got into the short-handed, long-distance offshore stuff. I did the uh, single-handed uh, transatlantic a couple of years ago. And how was that? It was good. It was, you know, it was a fantastic experience. It was 20 days at sea for me, and uh, you know, a long way in a little J105, so 34 feet long and very wet, like a washing machine. But, but a great experience, and it's kind of spurred me on. I've done some bigger boats and faster boat stuff since then. Tell us a bit about that. You've been on some open 60s, is that right? Been doing some open 60 sailing. Been very fortunate to uh, to sail with the guys from Hugo Boss and, and learn a huge amount from them. I ran my own Open 60 program for a while using Robin Knox Johnson's Grey Power, uh, which is a terrifying experience for a 19-year-old to try and, <laughs> to try and manage a project like that. Um, but no, it's been fantastic and, and it's such a great range of boats and, and so much fun to sail. So it's safe to say you've got a pretty good amount of experience behind you, considering how old you are. Now, while you've been doing all that sailing, you've been thinking about different things, haven't you? You've been working on a life jacket, I believe. It's, it's and you've got here to show us. So let, first of all, let's have a look at the jacket. So. So this is the jacket. Now, you, you, you've designed this all yourself? This, this came from me. My, my idea with safety really kicked off when you, when you stand on the rail of an Open 60 and you watch the water going past at 26 fast, knots. Yeah. And you think, if I fall off now, I'm in so much trouble. And that really gets your mind thinking about, about you know, right. what you do if in a man overboard. Now, a, a life jacket is meant, if you fall in the water, it inflates and it's meant to hold your head up mm -hmm. above the water. That's the whole design of a life jacket, exactly. correct? Yeah. Now, You've added something here because of a particular incident, haven't you? Tell me about that. Unfortunately, last year there was a tragic incident in the channel where uh, a man called Christopher Reddish fell off his boat and was towed face down by his harness and in fact drowned, connected to the, to the boat, which is a terrible, terrible incident. And it kind of highlighted the, the need for a, a shift in life jacket design to prevent that, that tragedy occurring. So what we're saying is uh, you're on a boat, you're clipped on your harness here. On the front, exactly. And unfortunately, he went in the water. Yeah. If, he was, if he wasn't moving, the jacket would have put in the right way up, exactly, yeah. but because he was being towed by the boat, he turned yeah. over. So you've developed something here which should address that. So, exactly, yeah. So this is my harness point. That's where you clip on. So I'm going to imagine I'm in the water, so I pull it, Yeah. and now the harness point makes its way to the back exactly. of the life jacket. So now I'm being towed and the jacket's inflated. Exactly. So now like Blue Peter, let's yeah. switch to one, one you I did, did earlier. No, this is one you've inflated earlier. <laughs> So, so, so this is the same jacket. Exactly. So it's inflated. So the toe point is here on, on the shoulder blades on the back, and that right. really allows. So the we're in the water to be towed. now. Like exactly. that. Towed completely with the head facing completely away from the oncoming water. It all disperses around the life jacket and, and keeps the mouth and the airways completely clear, even at speed. Fantastic. So, how long? Has this jacket been available? This jacket's been available two days. We launched at the Southampton Boat Show first day. It's been really exciting. Great to wow, get people's feedback. Wow, that's quite a journey you've been on then. It's, it's, been a, it's been a hectic couple of days, but it's great that people are, uh, are seeing it and understanding it. And, uh, and you had good feedback from people who have come over to the stand? Yeah, people really like it. They think it's lightweight and they can really see how being towed backwards instead of forwards is, is really a, an important way to go. It helps because the, the back tow technology allows us to also lift a casualty straight from the water. And so we have that extra man overboard recovery ability, which, which you don't see around. And, and I think that's a really, really important point because a lot of people don't realize that if you've got a casualty in the water, they're very low compared mm. to the freeboard of yeah. a boat. And to get them up yeah. is very difficult. But if you've got something that will lift someone this way, I, th I think exactly. that's a, a really crucial point. It's so hats off to you for, well, I don't know how much spare time you get when you're, when you're doing a transat, but we'll see. But you've obviously thought carefully about that. I, I keep my notebook with me at all times in case any ideas crop keep up. Keep going. There are <laughs> two models of this jacket? Yes, uh, there's 150 Newton and there's 275 Newton following very shortly after. So. Fantastic. Well, good luck with that. And I hope you uh, have a lot of good feedback at the show. Thank you very much.